What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War campaign as the Italian States. So to round off happened last time, we blitzkrieg through a good chunk of northern Italy and we are pushing on, or getting ready to push on, towards Turin. So let's make sure all our troops are in decent shape, you're in okay shape, you're getting your cover in your artillery. Uh, let's try to get our agent to assassinate the Venetian general once more. Nope, it's not a very good agent. So we're cranking in about 2,300 per turn. We do have the Genoans blockading one port and the French blockading another. Once more, let's try and sue for peace. Nope. Well, I have no money to give them give them a bit of a sweetener. So, because we do have square formation, we've got cast shot, we're starting to go down the bayonet route. We haven't got enough territories to make the economic researching research more worthwhile. Let's keep our... where are you? Senior Dragoons, let's run them down to Syracuse. I mean, we are still... Yeah, we are shrinking now still. This might actually be a good idea to pivot towards Physiocracy. Get the bone. Oh, that's probably better. Plus three per turn of town wealth. Plus four per turn of town wealth. Let's go physiocracy. Just to stop these regions from shrinking. Try and start to actually develop our core economy, I suppose. Okie dokie, let's head in turn. So it's more than likely, uh, for the meantime, once I take Turin, I'm probably going to want to fortify the western approaches into France. So Turin will probably have, well, I'll probably save up to build walls there. And I'll probably also build a fort to the southwest of Turin to block the passage to the south of the Alps. And then that might end up being a bit of a defensive line for us against the French while we secure our other objectives, such as the Italian, with the islands in the Mediterranean, like Sicily, not Sicily, uh, Sardinia and Corsica, maybe even landing some on North Africa, securing Malta, maybe going f towards the Balkans. Lots of lots of opportunities. I think securing Malta would be handy, and then jump down to take Tunis, and start to create. Uh, you know, go back to the days of Scipi Scipio Africanus, you know, trying to restore the Roman Empire. Oop, here comes a Savoyard. The ship's going to blockade me, or do something equally as annoying. Or just hang up. Ooh, they're coming after me, eh? More than welcome to do that. They've got lots of line and militia and some... It's just a pretty bland army, really. So even though our troops are depleted, we've got cannons, we've got cannons to shot, and we've got square formation, so this isn't really a threat. So let's do it. Let us defend... But once we start making some reasonable money, I want to s oh, actually, that might be a good thing to start building up in the back of my mind, an army in Rome, to quickly sail over to Corsica to knock out the Genoans, because that would also get rid of their navy to the east. And if I took Malta, that would get me a shipyard. Oh, doesn't need a shipyard. Okie dokie, so... I mean, this terrain here looks pretty good. So let's deploy guns. Let's deploy a solid core of infantry. Our centre is going to be behind trenches. Our flanks are probably going to be behind ah, garrison line. Can't deploy defences. Probably need you guys over on this flank. Probably spread them further out. And let's deploy our pikes into areas like this. While our pikes, papal Swiss guards, and our other papal Swiss guard, to just make it a bit more complicated for their cavalry to manoeuvre around the field. Cavalry on the right, general on the centre start. So let's immediately pull our 
troops back. Let's get our artillery to try and focus fire some of their artillery. Their cavalry, sorry. That's a lot of militia killed in the first volley. It's got guns to both folks fire one unit of cavalry for the moment. Just keep firing. See if they get a hit. Nope. Oh, I got one. So we've got one unit on the flank. Let's drop this garrison unit in square formation to keep our cavalry nearby, ready to counter charge. Found in that cavalry unit. They've lost one horseman. Three. Six. So the cavalry is there. Okay, you guys now blast with cannon shot. The other unit start hitting another cavalry unit to the rear. They're moving up a lot of cavalry on the right, supported by a few units of infantry. You can, you can probably successfully fire over that unit. Yep, no bodies fell. So the cavalry's charged into the square. Don't worry yet, because they're still in square. But now let's start to worry. Because another square unit might break them out of it. I'm going to need to hit the guys that are in combat now, so I'm probably going to get charged in the rear by them. Yep, broken out of square formation. These guys need to stay where they are because of the threat coming in. Switch to square. Switch to cast a shot and get hitting. First cavalry unit routed. That's a lot of dead cavalry men. The centre is folded immediately. Let's get them to round shot. Cavalry unit to the rear, it's a nice target. If we can get rid of his last provincial cavalry, that would be perfect. Emergency, run over here. Keep the Swiss Guard, hit the militia. The militia is. Oh, our infantry is seeing off their militia. The Swiss Guard are in. Uh, 
good. So we've got three rain on this flank to do a bit of skullduggery. The cavalry is leaving the field. So let's send our cavalry to do some mopping up. Some cavalry's formed up again, but hopefully they decide to go after our infantry. She looks like it's the case. Let's drop these guys into square. Nope, they are coming back after us. Square, move out the line. Run my pikes up because I can see their pikes. Wanting to get into a position. Fall our line back, fall our cavalry out of the way. Get the pikes in position. Stretch the line out over here. Stay, stay away from their pikemen. Want their pikemen to commit. Two line infantry units on my pikes and against them. Regiment of horse, shoot it, go for this line infantry unit. You pound them with a the round shot. The cavalry's charged in. Smack my general into the back of their pikes. Hopefully make them route and tie up their cavalry. Just don't turn around. Good, that's worked. Where are my pikes? Storm my pikes on. More infantry up again to a line. Everyone else is dead. Let's keep my general hunting them down. Okay, well, they're going to be. The cavalry is determined to do this whole slowly scoot away thing. Let's turn the firewall off. Let's get all our artillery plinking at some very distant target. Okay, let's give up our pikes to try and destroy this line infantry unit quickly. Because they were trotting away from my pikemen. Now they're in combat. Because our cavalry wasn't doing so well. Fight my pikes. Good, so my cavalry chased down their cavalry. My pikes chased down their cavalry. My cavalry continue and chase down their troops. A 
bunch of their line if just fell over dead when I right click to attack. So that the pikeman dead nearly. Just hold fire with my artillery for now. probably are going to route successfully, but not before we kill a good number of them at least. I'll say a good number. Some of them at least. Just keep right clicking. Because the algorithm seems to... It seems to stagnate. They seem to get to a point where they're just happy to trot along next to them. If you keep right clicking it seems to go... They are here. Close victory. Eh, it was a bit, it's a bit dodgy at points, but I wouldn't say it was. Our left wing and our centre was still very strong. Well, yeah, we traded, we traded our lives. Four, to, four lives, four Tunisians, Tunisians, Turinians. For one Italian. Sorry, there's someone clunking around and making noise outside. Can't help that. Got a window shut, but these are poor quality windows. So, I think it's almost necessary that I rebuild another army in Rome. Because as soon as I make a border with the French here, this army will be committed to more or less holding the, holding the territory up here. Okay, let's try and do a bit of replenishment. Try and maximise your provincial line, aren't you? Crew another line infantry unit, but mainly want to start <laughs> want to start building our single unit. Give these guys a turn to replenish, and then we'll probably go after Turin. Ideally, these guys will actually. Hmm. We could march on them. No, we've, no, we've, our numbers are too weak. As is tradition, the French are indifferent now, so let's request peace. What? what hey, wait, what did he call me? Call me a young lady. The swine. One more time. Kill the general. Okay, screw that. Come over here and try and kill some Savoyards. So we've got our artillery and our cavalry in Genoa. Three turns until we get the next we get physiocracy, our um, carabiners, our dragoons, sorry, are on their way down to Sicily. Things are going well, generally. It would be nice once I take Sardinia to try and make peace with Spain, but they probably won't let me. I need to actually go check what those, what those um, Moroccans are doing. Because Morocco is a very handy territory to have because it gives you ports with clean access into the Atlantic and to the trade zones, which I don't currently have. But again, I don't really have the money to take advantage of that. But again, you need, you know, you need cash to build trade ships, to earn cash to build your trade ships, and so on and so on. Problem is, 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 is if you spend turns and money building a weak fleet, and then you just get stomped by France and Spain, and then they're all dead. And you think, what a waste of time. Yeah, Savoy, oh, they've all, well, at least they've all clustered into their, into their territory. It would be expedient to knock out the Genoans because that would open up the port. Well. 
if I build a small army in um, Rome, I can sell that over to knock out Genoa. And then once I take out Savoy, then that will be the main, the main irritants of our Mediterranean activities dealt with. I mean, until Venice decides to get in, get its house in gear and do something. One of your sea trade routes is under attack from an enemy fleet. Oh, can't help Without that one bit. Okay, let's build a craft workshop here in this wealthy region. I do need to just buy another unit and let's build some artillery as well. Slowly build up the army. You guys need some more time to try and make peace with France again. Eventually, they'll, they'll get it. That would be handy if I could trade with the United Provinces. But our port is broken. And I don't know if it's worth repairing it, because they could immediately just go down and besiege it. And turn once more. When you've not got much money and you've not got a lot of territory, the initial turns fly by really quickly. The Austrians got booted out of the Barbary states. We want the, we want the United Provinces to stay as strong as possible because they're probably going to draw as the majority of the French effort. Although having their ports raided by the Spanish certainly won't help. For now, we're okay. Yeah, cluster into your town. Makes it easier to gather you up and smother you all in your sleep. The Venetians have moved out some troops to their port, which is a good call. Aha! French... Oh. Try to take him out. Get him. Yes! Always worthwhile taking advantage of killing an enemy agent when they expose themselves like that. So it's only the papal guards that need replenishments. I'm tempted to put Turin under siege. Crap load of mortars, but you know what I'm going to do about that. Just not attack them. Send them back to Venice. Build. Let's build a couple more units and then let's upgrade the government's building in Naples to help get some bonuses. One more turn to physiocracy's done. I mean, I could attack Turin, but I, 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 I really need to play it safe because over the hill could be a full French stack of elite troops with grenadiers on the whole nine yards and I can't stop that. I will later on, but for the moment, no, it's not a possibility. So I need to I need to take it take it slow, take it measured. I mean don't don't worry you guys, we'll end this turn. We'll end this part on a battle for Turin. I'm not gonna cheat you guys out of that. Um but I don't want to break my forces trying to take the city only to have the, fr the, the French roll in and destroy that army because it is my only army. And they did exactly what I wanted them to do because their armies are pretty depleted. They've got mortars but we're going to deploy back. It's going to be pretty good. Lots of their units are depleted. Ours are slightly strengthened. Our army's a bit bigger with some more cavalry, artillery and infantry. We've got a couple of depleted units of guardsmen, but they're only depleted by about three men. 120. And I rain. And this terrain's a bit pants. So can you guys... You can traverse that slope, but you can't traverse this bit. Hmm.
This rain is very dodgy. They've got a nice feature up here to get lots of cover. I think I have to, to deploy. To get the killing field I want, I need to deploy like here. Let's put some. Let's put a unit of papal guards to cover this choke point. Take three infantry units here. To be honest, I'd probably like to do something like this. Then I'll probably need you and the Papal Guard unit to protect this flank, probably with a unit of cavalry. My horse will be on the left. Let's get my 12 pounders actually up here. Pikeman, just keeping some somewhere safe. Gemma in the middle. The critical thing is, where are their mortars? Nudge, nudges them. They are actually capable of opening up. But opening up against who? Entire formation there is damn it. Okay, let's push up this flank. So let's use these forces to break, break their cavalry, push up on the right and try and push through the woods. So let, don't charge them, let them charge into the square if possible. Form square, lads. Cavalry's down. You do, if my cavalry can sprint around, they can hit the guns in the rear. Form a wider line to get more guns to bear. Ignore their infantry. So if I can use my infantry here to tie up their general, this unit can smash down from the north and hit their artillery. If you guys want to charge up, that's fine. We're going to have ourselves a bit of a scram. They're trying to bring infantry back to protect their general... It's not going to work. The cavalry has successfully enveloped their forces. Pity, they aren't going to get a successful charge onto my guns. Their general is killed. But their mortars are lost. Look at that! Why have my guys sent them to melee charge these guys? For some reason, they ran down and back up. It's 
most of them they're now engaging my Can kill the last mortar crew actually getting to kill the, the actual mortar crews themselves my guns have got a free pretty good bead on them Keep pushing the right flank up. The left is doing okay. Let's actually try to kill the gun teams. back into the fight. You guys form line on this ridge line, shoot down the centre, you run up into the trees. You're being fired on the flanks, let's pivot these guys around. Some gunners, even though uh, I suppose they did actually make them officially route. You hit that garrison line, you hit this armed citizenry. It's hot artillery fire. Begin marching my troops over. Pivot these chaps around to engage the new position. My cavalry continue the slaughter. Ooh, someone came back. They're still doing a good job, but it's a lot of muskets facing them. It's nice of them to advance up there, that means they won't spend their time doing things annoying, like firing back. Let's commit our cavalry to hit their remaining troops. General. So the last one remaining should be this unit up here fighting my pikes. And this is combatants even, they should start to lose men fairly rapidly. You guys start to run north. Yeah, now it's not even. Lots of angry men with pikes. Everywhere else, Savoyard have fled the field. Let's turn you guys fire well off so you don't do anything silly like kill my general. Absolutely continue. They're going to route because they've they're going to successfully route because they've managed to hide themselves and divvy themselves 
up. So my men can't kill them all. But they're gone. Let's keep chasing them down. Once those, these guys were out, the last remaining men are over here. And they're gone. Close victory? No, eh, that wasn't close. The terrain was a bit dodgy, I must admit. But it's still a victory for our forces. So I think... Good. <laughs> All they've done is gone and re-fortified Venice. Right now, things are things are looking up. The ruling classes so have written a letter of demands to your national. Nigeria is unhappy, so let's remove the tax and let's also recruit. No one's going to get there quick enough. What if I pull back one of my injured units? Minus one. Okay, they'll stay two turns of two units of infantry will be enough to will be enough to 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 placate them, but it looks like we're gonna end up just autoing that battle because that army has been destroyed. Una Victoria Gloriosa. Awesome ah, there's the French armor. Oh god. Yep, there's the scamps I was talking about. France. Peace and trade. Peace, trade, and I'll give you. Don't want. Don't really want to give you square, but. Damn. Okay, let's try and make some good trading allies. Cause you've got access to a port once more. It's peace and trade with Spain's Spain's colonial power. Ah, oh, they won't let me do it. Okay, let's trade with the Marathas. And let's also try trade with the Mughals. Nope, they want me to give them technology, which I don't want to do. Let's trade with the 13 colonies. Go on, I'll give you guys canister shot. You need all the help you can get. They're offering to... If they won't get Lombardy, they're offering to give me Maryland. No. Okay, peace, trade, and I'll give you both of these. Hmm. Okay. Let's exempt them from tax for now. Let's check our ministers. So, hold on, the only thing we want to do really is to rebuild the trading port. So we can pick up this handful of troops and drop them off of Corsica. And Bologna, we're going to go on to Empiricism. Again, to get that plus three per ton of wealth. So I'm taxing the, the nobility more. So and is that someone someone's using a a grinder so in which case i'm probably going to end the part here if that tit's going to start doing doing silly stuff i'm going to keep the tax level here we're going to start recruiting or gathering our forces to go and invade corsica knock out the genoans and free up this port for trade so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time